hello guys in this video let us do one more problem based on markov process tpm how to form the tpm let us see the question a gambler's luck follows the pattern if he wins a game the probability of winning next game is 6 0 0.6 if he loses a game then the probability of winning the next game is 0 0.3 so i'll take w and l w denotes whether he'll win uh, l denotes whether he'll lose or not so there are two possibilities that's why this is 2 cross 2 matrix tpm okay so let us read the question again the probability of winning the next game if he wins a game suppose so this two is nothing but what it is the present state as you know that the marker process it depends only on the present state so w l is there here also w l what is this w l it is a future state okay so whatever happens in the uh, like present state let us see if he wins a game so winning a game the probability of winning next game so this is the present the next game is 0 0.6 so ww will be 0 0.6 so what will be this this will be 0 0.4 why it will be 0 0.4 because the sum of these two elements in a row row wise you have to see it should be 1 0 0.6 plus what will give me 1 it is 0 0.4 next if he loses a game, then the probability of winning the next game is 0 0.3. Suppose he loses a game, the probability of winning the next game is 0 0.3. So what will be this value? 0 0.7. Again, the same logic, the sum should be 1. Okay. So in the question, these two quantities were given. Now, let us see what else is they have asked. What is the probability that he wins the second game if there is an even chance that the gambler wins the first game in a long run how often he wins the game so we have to find long run also and the probability also so there are two questions two parts of the questions so let us find out first the long run what happens so in long run as you know uh, we have to just go for the fixed probability vectors as you know in fixed probability vectors vp is equal to v where v will be the vector this i have taken v1 and v2 so what is v1 v1 is for winning uh, then v2 will be for losing okay here also same thing w l i have to fill with p is nothing but the tpm itself okay so 0 0.6 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 0 0.7 how to form the question uh, like equation over here how to form the equation this row into this column this row into first column will give me the first element so v1 into 0 0.6 0 0.6 v1 plus 0 0.3 v2 will give me the first element this is v1 so this will give me the first equation next one this row into second column will give me second element so 0 0.4 v1 plus 0 0.7 v2 which is equal to v2 v2 v1 now as you know one more equation which is v1 plus v2 always should be what one this is the main thing v1 plus v2 v1 plus v2 should be one always okay so i have written the equation here also just you can see 0 0.6 v1 plus 0 0.3 v2 is equal to v1 and the second also second equation also now what i have done i have taken the first equation this one and in place of v1 as you know v1 plus v2 is equal to what 1 so i have replaced v1 with 1 minus v2 that's it okay v1 with 1 minus v2 in the first equation so it's the same thing just replace with so that i will get only one unknown okay v2 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 after solving all this i will get the answer as v2 as what 4 by 7 you can just see the calculation i have done all the calculation part now v2 i have got 4 by 7 as you know v1 plus v2 is equal to 1 so v1 i will get it as 1 minus v2 right 1 minus v2 so 1 minus 4 by 7 will give me 3 by 7 now if you are going for the calculator to solve these two equations you will get a math error okay so what you need to do first i'll take a mode press 5 then go for first one because two variables are there 
okay so how to put if i put these two equation coefficients uh let us see what we'll get okay anyways it will be a math error so i'll just uh, simplify these two equation uh, like v1 i'll bring this side so it will be what 0.6 v1 minus 1 v1 which will be minus 0.4 v1 plus 0.3 v2 is equal to 0 i'll bring this this side so it will be 0.4 v1 uh this will be minus 0 0.3 v2 is equal to 0 now if i substitute these values in calculator so what i'll be getting see here 0 0.4 so minus is there right minus 0 0.4 0 0.3 constant is 0 then 0 0.4 again minus 0 0.3 constant is 0 when i press equal to i'll get matter this is what i said that if you go for these two equation and solving if you want to solve in calculator it is not possible only so what you need to understand here always you have to remember you have to take the main equation which is nothing but v1 plus v2 is equal to 1 because only two variables are involved that's why v1 plus v2 otherwise v1 plus v2 plus v3 for the three variables now this is the main equation okay and in these two equation you can take any of this any any one okay if i take the first equation let let me do this part so first equation as it is i'll replace second with this equation so the constant will be one again one again one correct one 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 so what i'll be getting press equal to i'll be getting three by seven and four by seven see over here three by seven four by seven correct so this is how you have to do so whenever you do this part always remember you have to take the first equation any of this you can take over okay it doesn't matter you can take the second part second equation or the first equation and the main equation always remember you have to include that main equation or well, then only you will get the answer in the calculator otherwise by the traditional method you have to just replace the v1 take one of the equation replace with a v1 with one by one minus v2 and just substitute and get the values that's it okay now moving further so we got v vector so as you know this denotes what winning this denotes losing so we have to find the probability of winning so it is nothing but 3 by 7 3 by 7 in percentage will be 42.35 percent okay just multiply with 3 by 7 with 100 you will get the answer as percentage so i got the values now we have to find for what we have to find the probability that he wins the second game we have just found out the long run okay for probability always remember we have to go for the nth step derivative uh, sorry distribution probability distribution which is given by this formula so a power n is equal to a power 0 into p power n what is a power 0 a power 0 is nothing but the initial stage okay so initial stage you have to consider the first game so i'll get a power 0 as first game in which the question again we'll see why it is 0 0.5 why it is 0 0.5 here observe here what is the probability that he wins the second game if there is a even chance that the gambler wins the first game even chance what does it mean even chance basically means you have to distribute like half and half chance is there totally it will be one correct out of one probability there are even chances that means divide by two that is half and half one by two and one by two which basically means winning chance is 0 0.5 and the losing chance is also 0 0.5 other basic meaning is that now a power one is this nothing but the second big game this is what we have to find out okay this is the initial stage which is the first game second game we have to find out what happens what is the probability okay so a power one we have to find out where the one is basically denotes the n value so this is one and therefore p power this will be also be one why because here n value is there right so this is one a power one is equal to a power zero p power one we have to find out p power one no need why because it is already we have found out this is nothing but the P tpm okay p power one basically means the tpm i can just show you this part this is nothing but the p power one okay now a power 1 just multiply this to 0 0.5 so this row 
this is a power raised to the power correct this row into this column will give me this element this row into this column will give me this element how to multiply 0.5 into 0.6 plus 0.5 into 0.3 will give me 0.05 next 0.5 into 0.4 plus 0.5 into 0.7 will give me 0.45 so both the values as you know it is equal so winning and losing probability we have found out so i can just uh, revise like this thing i can see the question what is the probability that he wins in the second game we have to find just the winning probability so 0.5 5, 4y will be the answer or we can write the 45 percent so the probability that he wins the second game is equal to what 45 percent okay 0.45 is basically 45 percent